up here with Joe Garofalo as he finishes an order of something that uh, I have not tried yet. Of course, we're here at Garofalo's Importing right on the main drag. What's the address here again, Joe? 155 East Bridge Street. Okay, so what are we making? What are we doing here? What do we got? Uh, bread and chicken cutlets. Okay, what is that that you're putting it in right there? That That's a, a, a egg and milk replacement. Mm -hmm. So you put it on here to let the breadcrumbs stick to it. Okay, so all right. get it all wet with that, and then the breadcrumbs will stick to it now. Italian breadcrumbs? Yep, these are breadcrumbs that we make up here. Okay. Do we so always have these available? The breadcrumbs or the cutlets? Both. Um, breadcrumbs we always have. The cutlets I only make up sporadically. Okay. Yep. Ask Tim Snyder, by the way. They brought him up to the big yep. race. So if I have catering or I got some friends coming over or something, yep. you could make you this need for a us? Yeah, notice on that and I can make them up. Yep. Okay. One of the things that he makes for me that I love, of course, is the cold cut bread. Yep. And so they've been used from older Italian families who remember sausage bread. Basically, it's right along those lines because a lot of times what, what people would do is whatever they had left over yeah. for the week, they right. would put it in the bread. Correct. And yeah. that's how this came Just, about. That's how it came about. Okay. You need a day notice on that, guys. There's those cutlets. How good do those look, right? So make sure to get on up there and do that. So Super Dirt Week started today, and you okay. told me you knew right away. That's yeah, correct. Yep. They came in to get their stuff. Uh, some a gentleman was in this morning that told me he uh, couldn't wait to get here. It was yeah. the first stop he wanted to make. Nice. What does everybody buy this time of year versus other times of the year? You get a lot of like a lot of meats, but a lot of people get the cold cuts if they're going to be in the track for gotcha. long days. Um, they make themselves sandwiches and they get some rolls. Mm -hmm. um, we, hamburger sausage will start going. Okay, and we do have the apple sausage the apple still. Apple sausage is still available. Correct. Okay, and that's something special. They only make what maybe two months out of the year. Yeah, if once even. the apples are growing here, once they're ready to pick, we start then, and mm -hmm. we'll have them until they're all gone. Very good. Uh, also, going to have the van at the track again with fresh food there. Yep, right on the back stretch, right at the the main entrance to the back grandstands. Yeah, right about right in the middle, actually. Yep. Right behind it. What kind of stuff are we going to have there? We'll have all our sausage sandwiches, steak sandwiches, hamburgers, hot dogs, French fries, chicken tenders. Mm -hmm. you know, if you catch us anywhere else, pretty much the same stuff. Okay. Yeah, and they'll be feeding me this week, too, so thanks yep. for doing that, by the way. Um, as far as this from a business standpoint, how important is this for you and the other business? Like, I know you talked about Wade's a Diner across the street. How important is this week for you guys? This is a great opportunity for the whole city. I mean, you get thousands and thousands of people to come in that are never going to be here. So the first couple of years, they brought their own stuff. Since mm -hmm. then, they kind of have their places to go to find everything. So we all benefit from it. The whole city, you go out at nighttime, all the restaurants are full. Really? You know, you, you see all the some of the sports bars and, and stuff like that. You see the hotels are all full. So it has to affect the whole city greatly. Nice. Okay. Uh, as far as the people, can you tell when they're race people when oh, they yeah. come in? Instantly, How? I can tell. How? Uh, well, first off, they all have racing stuff on. Right. You know, apparel. Um, and then you just kind of see they're looking, just the way they're looking. Oh, okay. The way they come in and just kind of look, look around, around like yes. they haven't been here before. Right. Gotcha. And the nice thing with your place is there's a lot of brands. Yep. Like, of course, Jono was oh, my favorite thing is here that he doesn't make is Fago Red Pop. They got they got a lot of different sodas and chips and things like that that you won't find at the big box stores. Right, right. So yeah, we don't uh, we have a lot of different things. Just we get a lot of small stuff in. Um, we're a unique store basically. We try to get stuff that nobody else has. Yeah, and so that's why you want to go here and you know where the meat's from. You're going to see it ground right up in front of you too. That's the other nice thing about it. So um, I guess I hope everything goes well for you. I'll make sure to see you on the back stretch. I'll make sure I record something during the week too. Joe, good luck with everything right, thank and thank you. you for your help. Yep, no problem. Thank you.